So carrying square bales through two feet of snow is a lot harder than it used to be when I was young. Hard to get out the front door. So, morning everybody. Today is blizzard day two. And as you can see, there's a lot of snow. I'm gonna be shoveling just to get the barn door open. It looks like our big issue today is going to be uh, drifting. Uh, maybe only another 12 to 14 inches of snow by the time it's all done is what the forecasters are saying. This is still some pretty heavy snow. Let's get the horse some grain here so she's happy. All right, let's see if we can get this back door open. I'm not optimistic. Oh boy. So once the wind dies, we're gonna need to come out here with a tractor and do some serious cleaning out here. The water tank is open, that's good. Calf feeders are an absolute mess, you can't see them. The cows are all standing over here, out of the wind. So this is gonna take some digging. We opened up the lower, uh, calving barn for the calves and the steers last night so they're out of the wind they're happy down there come on miss impatient here you go use your apple see I threw down some bales I'm going to carry square bales out for the cows so that they can stay out of the wind for a few hours this morning and and uh, keep on eating. There's some pretty serious drifts here. And that wind is absolutely not letting up. There. It's not much, but there's a lot more over there. <clears throat> That'll keep busy for a few hours this morning. Maybe they'll lay down and just stay out of the wind. Boy, you wouldn't think we just plowed this uh, twice on the uh, yesterday. The snow is looking pretty deep here. Hard to see where I'm going even. 
because there's so much moisture on the windows. But this thing makes the snow go away in a hurry. It allows you to get away from those big snow piles that block visibility down here at the end of the driveway. effective things this snowblower can do is cut into these big piles that we made clearing the driveway and shoot them off into a spot uh, where the snow is out of the way. So that's what I'm doing now is I'm cutting down the big snow piles and trying to clear some of the spots between these buildings uh, where we've got limited uh, space to put snow. You can really hear that engine slow down. I'm trying to thread the needle between the apple trees so I'm not dropping all this heavy weight snow right on top of one of the apple trees. I'm trying to hit the yard right between them. Even with two big tractors and a snowblower, uh, you still end up doing a lot of shoveling here. The approach to the uh, garage, the fuel tanks over there, and the front side of the garage door, as well as all the shed doors and the barn door, and of course, the deck on the house. So this deep snow, you can see it's halfway up the panels. And believe it or not, this is a gate, not a wall. And there's our loading chute. The cattle handling facility is completely buried. And we're gonna have to dig this out while the snow is still soft before it sets up because we've got calves to haul in January to the sales barn. Uh, we were scheduled to go this week, but with this snow, it just didn't seem realistic. Uh, in fact, it was dangerous. 